Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today is another episode of Hit Film Wednesdays. Um, Papa, the guy who uh, requested previous week's Hit Film Wednesday, um, left another comment uh, asking about how plane layers worked and why and how uh, you should use them. So we're going over that today in this video after the intro. So what are plane layers? Now I quote, planes are flat rectangular shapes of a single color that are created inside hit film. So um, if I would create a plane layer in this video, that would be a 1920 by 1080, uh, just a rectangle with a single color. But why would you want to use, um, why would you want to use planes? Now you can use those for solid color backgrounds, invisible layers for 3D shadow casting, reference layers for parenting, um, or creating simple 3D geometry. Now I'm not going over all those examples because I also have some examples myself. Um, like it's also used in uh, this tutorial here of the Iron Man effect, which I did, you can see that here. Um, and it's also from an effect you can see here. So that's actually a tilt in from a black plane. Now I'm actually um, making a tutorial on the 26th of July about that. So if you want to know that, stay tuned. Um, and I think we need to uh, jump into hit film. So this here is the standard hit film um, compositing uh, screen as you can see here is the editor and I have a composite shot here now what I can do is um, actually right click new and then I could create a plane layer because plane layers are also used in the editing timeline um, but if I just want to have a plane layer inside of a composite shot I would go here to the new layer and click plane or press ctrl alt a if you're on Windows and um, that opens the plane properties tab now of course the name is for what you uh, want to call your plane then um, your width and height is for the uh, footage now you can also click match timeline um, so that it matches the composite shot properties now the uh, aspect ratio is uh, just square pixels so that's one by one square um, and then we come to the color properties now um, there are actually several things that you could do now if you want some uh, 2d geometry for say uh, motion graphics then you could of course choose uh, any um, color that you'd like to but now we're going uh, over the black plane layer so you can just click here we have white gray and black and um, you can also click on here to uh, go to the color selection menu but for now we'll choose black so now we have a black plane layer and this is if you want to add effects uh, or effects to um, your project now you could also add the effects to um, the footage layer that you're using but there are some disadvantages there because if you um, want to move the effects themselves and not the footage layer uh, you have to go through a lot of hassle there um, and uh, now you can turn off the effects or certain effects with one click instead of going to all your different effects and clicking them off so now I'm going over the effect for a light flare so I'm going to search for my uh, light flare and add it onto here. Now you can uh, do uh, whatever you want. I'm going for the, um, what show we use? IMAX. Well, that's a bit overkill, isn't it? So here we have the light flare. Now I will grab um, a piece of footage here and add it under the plane layer here which you can see this is the black plane layer with the light flare or the effect added onto it but what we want to do is right click the plane layer then go to the blending mode and set it to screen what screen does is it takes out the black and uh, gray tones so black will be keyed out completely um, and gray tones will be like semi so um, 
And yeah, this is a really good way because now we can actually turn off the effect itself. Uh, we can move it if we want to instead of um, moving the whole footage layer. So that's uh, useful for it. Um, so yeah, this is a very short overview of how you can use plain layers. So this uh, was the short video on using plain layers. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have a question, put it in the comment section below. Um, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye. Hey, I hope you liked that video. Now click the top box to see my newest video and click the box below to see a highlighted one. Click my profile picture to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you'll have a great day. So I hope you like this uh, short video on uh, using plain layers. Now like if and